everyone. A video from a bit of a different place today. As I am staying a couple of days in one of royal palaces of Sweden in order to attend an event, I took with me Fiona Franschmann hairpins that I've just received a couple of days ago and I am planning to use them for styling my hair but first I want to unbox them with you and have a look at uh, first impressions and also later show you if I manage to do my hair using them okay and of course just a little room tour while I'm here here you can see a very old style <laughs> wardrobe where I've put some of my gloves for the upcoming days uh, and here you can see my pollen handbag resting and this very old style room. Amazing vibe. Of course, I will also show you view through the window. It's nice and birds are singing. Yeah, so it's here that I thought let's unbox these hairpins together and evaluate if they are worth the hype. So I've removed all of this from a postage bag and I didn't have to, time to look at what's inside before today. So you can see there was a postcard and there's an instruction also uh, about making it on a tail. Five steps, I think I could manage that. Um, and then here is just, just a receipt where you can see the product that I bought. It's from Paris Collection. And these pins will be in soft beige satin sand and smooth caramel. Okay, I have a lovely dust bag. <laughs> a dust bag for pins, so right? It's original. So let's unwrap it. And let's see what do we have inside. So here's a box. Three pins, I hope, to find inside. And here they are. Yeah, you can see that they are in three different colors. All three are rather beige uh, in different nuance. A bit caramel indeed, a bit of um, nude. I think it will melt nicely with my skin tone and should be rather invisible in my hair. Now let's see how do they feel touching them. They are really glossy, very flexible, but I wonder if they will really hold my hair. And the quality seems to be consistent with each pin. So of course I will try to make a ponytail. Otherwise, before ordering them, I saw online some suggestions of buying uh, 20 pins on Amazon, way cheaper than these are. But I can understand why you would want to order pins like these, it's if they are in good quality and uh, you would uh, wear them a lot, then why not to buy this kind of? But um, of course, th this design, I doubt that this is something new. I mean, those kind of similar hairpins with, I've seen for years. Okay, so now I've tried to do my hair using these and I did manage to do a ponytail, but it took me a while to understand that you really need to like slide this upwards I would have really wanted to slide it downwards, not upwards. Um, it it probably will take time to me to get used to the feeling. As to me, at the moment, it felt like I will lose them if I start to like run or so. But that uh, requires more testing. Okay, and I've tried a couple of hairstyles, looking at tutorials, and honestly, like every style that I tried. I started moving my head and then I, I would lose a hairpin. My hair is very silky and uh, not too thick, not too thin, but very silky and glossy. I'm not sure if that's the reason why I'm losing the pin, but I've tried ponytail, I've tried some other styles and they don't seem to sit well in my hair. They have very glossy finish, 
and uh, are very smooth and nice but i don't think that practically they are very helpful like i would prefer uh, invisible pins or how do you call those that are very thin and um, hairdressers usually use them or uh, a <laughs> simple scrunchie to fix my hair Usually I just uh, curl my hair a little bit or or just wear them straight and I very rarely uh, try to put them into ponytail or so but now when I try them on I realize that I would prefer to wear scrunchy. So I mean I'm not sure if I'm doing anything wrong. Uh, I don't have any way now to film uh, how I am actually fixing my hair but I will also try these on on my daughter's hair and um, if i succeed i add a photo uh, when editing the video right next to here but if you don't see a photo of nicely set hair then it means that i didn't manage to make it work but otherwise whatever use case could we have for them maybe eating sushi let's see if they yeah maybe one can eat sushi with them i will try that out so there will be <laughs> at least some use case for them I mean, they are so lovely and so glossy and stylish. I hope that I will just, after looking into more tutorials, find a way to make them work. But I mean, if you don't have drive and enough time to experiment, then this may not be a good product to you. And in that case, don't just buy them because you have seen a lot of ads. Buy them if you actually are using something similar and enjoy it. And you know how to work with them and they fit your hair and uh, help you to compose the hairstyle that you like. But if you're very curious, maybe you would like to first buy a package of uh, way cheaper pins and try them out for a week if uh, you see that that's something that you really can't live without or that you really enjoy using at least then you may want to order these and uh, enjoy not only practical but also a pretty item but otherwise it's not worth buying them just because they are pretty if you wouldn't use them daily or at least weekly then you probably may want to skip and if uh, Fiona would ever see this video, I would really recommend to have option uh, to personalize these pins. That would have been really, really nice to someone who plans to wear these exact three pins for years. So thanks everyone for watching. I would really appreciate if you would support my creative experiment on YouTube by subscribing. Welcome to do that and welcome to come back to watch my other videos. Bye for now.